I wanted to see how far I could pray. And so some Saturdays I shut down and I begin to speak in tongues. I, I started, I did four, four hours the first Saturday. Next Saturday I came, I did six hours. Next Saturday I did eight, uh, eight hours. And a time came when I prayed in tongues for 18 hours. I said, so, okay. So if I want to go, the, the system will support me. You are prayerless. That's why you are still fornicating. You saw a woman's breast and your leg began to shake like this. It, it's a proof that you, you don't know fire. <laughs> it's a proof that your refinery has broken down. It's a proof that you are not willing to come out of your situation. Because the day you become willing to come out of that situation and you begin to engage prayer, you will find out that the things that you call your weakness previously, you will pass from before them and go to a land where they don't exist. Oh my God. We miss so much when we refuse to engage God. Because built into that facility is the possibility to engage God and to travel in the spirit. If you are willing to pay the price, what you call your weakness today, God will strip you of every ounce of that weakness and release you into your destiny. If you are still here, say amen. So that's the baptism in the Holy Ghost. But that's not all that the baptizer does. In the book of Matthew chapter 3, the Bible says, He will baptize you, one, with the Holy Ghost. Then, number two, He will baptize you with what? Fire. You see, the baptism of fire is a wonderful spiritual experience. Meanwhile, the baptism of fire, it comes on the foundation of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When you are baptized in the Holy Ghost and you decide to begin to run your refinery and you are consistent in the place of prayer, you are consistent in the place of prayer, a day will come when you will be baptized in fire. 